Thomas Civic, a J6 defendant who pled guilty to assaulting Officer Fanone and taking his badge, has a very interesting memorandum when it comes to his sentencing by the defense. Now, the government wants to give him 71 months in prison, three years of supervised release, at least $7,500.79 in restitution, and a mandatory $100 assessment. The defendant argues herein that under the unique circumstances of his case, and oh boy will we get to those unique circumstances, a sentence of home confinement taking into account the nearly eight months he already spent in prison under very difficult circumstances, followed by a period of supervised release and an order of restitution would constitute a sentence that is sufficient but not greater than necessary to accomplish the goals enumerated in 18 USC blah blah blah. Basically, he wants home confinement and them to take into account the eight months he was in, in jail or prison and the government wants him to have 71. Now, what's really interesting here is all of this. All of this is what I wanted to focus on here. And really, what I wanted to start with is here, on number two. The government, for its own reasons, recommends a sentence at the top of the guideline range it believes applies to this case, 57 to 71 months in prison. So the government wants 57 to 71 months. The probation office recommends, for reasons that are more sound, but still erroneous, contemplate a five-level enhancement for serious bodily injury, a sentence of 48 months in prison, with additional stipulations. Neither the government's sentencing memorandum nor the probation office's sentencing uh, recommendation sorry, tongue -tied, addresses the extreme conditions of Mr. Civic's confinement prior to his October 26, 2021 release, nor do they sufficiently take into account the mental disease or defect which she was suffering on January 6, 2021, that was exacerbated by the prescription of a medication, Adderall. Yes, Adderall. So, basically, I've read through the document. The claim is that he was prescribed Adderall when he shouldn't have been prescribed Adderall, or he took Adderall when he shouldn't have taken Adderall. I believe it was prescribed. And I read it a while back, and I'm just now getting around to being able to make the video. And it, according to them, caused him to have an episode, essentially, that might have played into why he acted that way on January 6th. Moreover, neither document acknowledges the minor nature of the assault when compared to what was typically considered an assault, punching, kicking, etc. Under the relevant statute, finally, neither the government nor the probation office has the benefit of having read the very compelling letter written by Mr. Civic in advance of the sentencing and any other letter addressing the sentencing issues this court must address. And there's a lot more. Um, I'll link this in the pinned comment um, if you want to read it. If it's not in the pinned comment, because I'm going to have this scheduled because I'm probably going to be busy tomorrow and might not be able to make any videos. Um, the case number, you can always take this case number up here and pull up all these documents um, if that interests you. So if the pinned comment isn't there, that's how you can find this type of stuff. But uh, I just got to the Adderall part and I'm like, that's unique. That is unique. 